go. Hello, hello, hello. I, right here, am Steve Chapman from Fishing Floor Radio. Uh, I just drove out to the new uh, to the Venetian Gardens because this week is our the first Eastern or I guess Southern Open for the Bass the Bass Masters. And uh, we while we've had one tournament for uh, the FLW, this is really the start of the season. This is what we've been waiting for. What we've talked on the radio for for so long is now here and is absolutely awesome. It is about time and I couldn't be more excited. So I went out today to see how things were going, uh, see if I could see some, meet and talk to some of the anglers. Uh, I needed to have some questions answered about the classic and uh, you know, being out here, the elites will be out here uh, at the end of the month. Well, really the beginning of next month and I needed some questions answers that I just couldn't get answers for. So I needed to go out to the Venetian Gardens, which is absolutely beautiful. They've redone a lot of stuff. There's more space for the anglers to park. There's more space for everybody. So I really couldn't be happier for this to be here. And especially at this time of the year, because honestly, we're going to have a good tournament. It might be a little cold and we might have some weird weather, but we are going to have a really good tournament. Why? There's 225 professional anglers. 225. 225. There's actually more co-anglers than there are anglers. But right now they have 225 pros and co-anglers ready to go out Thursday morning at 7 a.m. at Venetian Gardens over where Ski Beach Park is. And that is great news for elites. Last year it was like 200, 205 Somewhere in that mind, somewhere in that, you know, around there. So, this is a great, this is a great start for the Southern Open, and and it's not only great for for re the professionals, but the pros, the the co anglers are going to do real well too. Why? Well, the pros in particular. Uh, this is a great opportunity if you can do well here and be consistent, you can get yourself into the elites, and that is very, that's a good thing for a lot of people. I mean, that, if that's their goal, then that's great. I, we know a, a bunch of people who've been trying to get in elites, and this is their opportunity to, to start off well and, to, and to, to fish these Southern Opens and do good. So a good start here propels you throughout the, uh, the three tournaments that they have. And if you're in the top five, they, most of the time, they will promote you or ask you to go into elites. And that's a great thing. really is. It really is. So be... If you're if you're a local person, this is a great opportunity to go out and meet some some real pros like Ish Monroe is signed up to be out there. John Brazelli, if you don't know him, he's kind of like a not really well known, but just is a stud. And I'm not joking. He is a stud fisherman. He's fished. He he's done. Uh, he he's he's been with our boy Lunker Louie for years, and Lunker Louie's won tons of tournaments. What's up, Hammer? Uh, so John Brazell, John Cox, you know, Cox Juice. We we love John Cox. Seriously. The show just has the most respect for that angler. He is he is humble, down to earth, and a just an an amazing angler. So you have him, Cody Detwaller. If you don't know Cody, Cody's father owns um the place, the the little tackle shop by uh on Lake Toho, I think it's Toho Marine. He is, and we've known Tom, we've we've actually known Cody for like ten years when he was like twelve years old. He was one of the best anglers out on on um, Toho. That was that he didn't even have a boat. I remember one year they have this thing called the the iCast Cup, and I said to them, I'd really like to go fish with Cody. Well, I found out of all things, Ken Duke and and Bill Dance were with Cody. They killed us all. I'm not joking. Killed us all. There's a formal complaint in there too. Still, they haven't. They, nobody's justified what the hell happened that day. I have that, and everyone who's complaining about the Saints, I want that checked out too. Hey Paul. Hey Kenneth. 
So Cody, Trevor Fitzgerald, if you don't know if Trevor, Trevor's made a big name here in the last few years for Fitzgerald Rods. He's out there. Uh, big Bass, Bobby Lane Jr. is out there, and he's won a Major League Fishing Cup out there and should be probably one of the favorites. If you don't know him, Terry Seagraves, Chad Pipkins, we had him on the show at the Classic last year, another great angler. Charlie Hartley, Charlie's an old-time stud. He's a good two. Scott Ashmore uh, and Brandon Lester. And the one guy I am going to seek out and find who nobody has ever heard of, but everyone has heard of Ozzy Osbourne. No joke. Ozzy is from Texas, from Longview, Texas. I am going to find Ozzy and see if he'll sing for us or do something. But great name, and everyone knows who Ozzy Osbourne is. So, what I heard, I went out there today. Cameron Smith caught an eight pounder, eight pounder plus in practice. Uh, and from what I am understanding is that the bass are pre-spawn. They're not, they didn't spawn this weekend with this humongous, um, you know, the moon that we had down here. Um, so they have not spawned, which is a little odd. Is the, uh, Warren asked, is the weather going to be fa a factor? So it was, now I don't know where everyone's from. So I, I apologize right now. It was cold yesterday, and I mean seriously freaking cold. I'm not joking. I didn't leave the house yesterday. In fact, yesterday I spent seven hours doing my Bassmaster Classic odds that I do every year. And I spent seven and a half hours on it. And when you find out who my number one angler is soon, you're going to be shocked. And it isn't Atafo. Where's that camera there? There, there. It is not to but not to in the top two. Anyway, the fish are pre-spawn. That's what I've been told by a couple of the anglers. So we're going to see a lot of, there's a good chance of seeing a lot of big fish. A lot of big fish. Now the average fish they said was like two and a half to three pounds. But there was one guy that said he hasn't caught anything less than five that I talked to. All the fish he, were catch he was catching was five. Now, there's some bigger fish that were caught. That, like I said, Cameron Smith caught an eight-pounder yesterday in practice, which was great. Um, and that just shows that we ha there are some big fish in here. Now, here's the thing. The Harris chain is known is called Lake Big Bass. And for years, the big bass was probably, the average fish was probably two and a half, maybe two to two and a half pounds. That isn't a big fish. But slowly, we're starting to see these giant fish you know, getting big and because it's pre-spawn, we're going to see some, we're going to see some giants. I know of one guy that I can't name his name, 12-4, 12-4. So there are some giants to be caught. So this is a great opportunity to go out there and meet some of these guys. The, the way in the days one and two, they all start at seven o'clock over at again, Venetian Gardens Ski Beach Park. That's at 201 East Harris Drive, Leesburg, Florida. Day one, two, and three, it all starts at seven o'clock. Now days one and two, weigh-ins will be at three o'clock over there at Ski Beach Resort. They've set it up completely different than I've ever seen over there, and they've set it up, it is, it's perfect. There's room to park, there's room to walk around and enjoy some of the things that they have going on out there, woo woo! And so it is, a great time, a great opportunity to go out there and meet some really big name guys, but also check out some of these other guys that are trying to make their way into the next wave of elite anglers. So the and uh, so go out there and check it out. Then day three, the weigh-ins at four o'clock at Bass Pro Shops in Orlando. Now they've done that all the time. It's a little bit of a drive if you're if you're from, you know, over there in. in uh, Leesburg and, and Lake County, well, it's a little bit of a drive, but you want to know it's still worth going to see it. Those will be, the day three will only be the top 12 anglers and the top, top 12 co-anglers. The co-anglers are going for like a boat and uh, the, the pro-anglers are trying to get their, you know, trying to win their way into the elites, but it's all about consistency. So um, I think we'll see some 25 pound bags. Is a 30 pound bag out of the works? I don't know. The guy, the two guys I talked to said 30 was not out of the, out of the park. And a six pound average on Harris is exactly what we need for our fishery. We need to bring people in and tell people how great Lake County fishing is. Honestly, everyone thinks they need to go to Toho to catch big bass. 
it is that isn't the case. You can go fish ponds and retention ponds and all sorts of stuff and catch giant bass. And because these fish are not spawned yet, we're we're setting up for a really good tournament. I have hat head, if you can notice. I had to wear a hat to go out there. So the weather isn't going to be anything. Let me get back to that. So it was super cold yesterday. Today we're back in shorts. We're back in, it's probably maybe 60, 65 degrees. I don't know, maybe 70, but it's going to get warmer as the days go on. So there we go. We, I will be doing a vlog on, because I'm calling these vlogs from now on. Uh, on Friday, on Thursday morning, possibly, Thursday afternoon for sure. The dates for this are Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this week. The 20, I guess that's the 23rd, 24th, what is it? I can check it out right here, hold on. It is info sheet, 24th through 26th is what it is. Takeoff time is at 7 a.m. Weigh in on day one and two is at three. Day three, weigh in is at four o'clock at Bass Pro Shops. So it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good time, and and really we're gonna see some giant bass. So um, it should be a lot of fun. MLF on Toho, can't wait, and FLW right after that. I can't wait for uh, John. I cannot wait for Major League Fishing too. Of all things, I complained about some stuff on the radio this weekend. And I think somebody heard it and told two people. And today I got all my questions answered that I was complaining about. Really not complaining. I was bitching. And, but that's how it is. They, they contacted me and gave me a couple emails. So um, some exciting things coming on. Actually, here in Central Florida, the next few, like from right now, because you can go out there and, and see them practicing. From right now through... Um, like February 10th, it's crazy here from the Eastern Open, the Bass Pro Shops Eastern Open on the Harris Chain. We have January 29th through February 3rd, Major League Fishing's Bass Pro Tour at Lake Toho, which is even better and great because this is that's going to tell us how things are going to go for Major League Fishing. Um, oh, John, congratulations for being a marshal. That is. That was one of the questions I'd asked. Why didn't I get invited to be a marshal? But I can only go marshal here. But you want to know, John, you should, if there's a way to uh, contact you and you give us an update on how things are going, we'd love to hear from that. So we have January 29th through February 3rd, Bass, the Bass Pro Tour, Major League Fishing at Toho. We have Crappie Masters the same weekend as, as the Major League Fishing over here in DeLand. Did that door just open? That's freaky. Okay, now I'm starting to freak out. That's the God's honest truth. I'm freaking out a little bit right now. Um, anyway, me, uh, we have Crappie Masters the same weekend as uh, the Bass Pro Tour or Major League Fishing at the St. John's River in DeLand. We're going to be doing Media Day again and doing a whole bunch of stuff with them. And then directly after that, in February, the first February 7th through 10th, we have the Bassmaster Elite at the St. John's River. And I was told to pick whatever angler I wanted to. Yeah, don't say that. It's hammer. Whatever angler I want to go out on the boat with, I was allowed to request anyone on the Elites per this email right here. Right here. And, and I'd be able to go with whoever I wanted. So I think I'm going to go with either Chris Aldane or Bill Owen. Because I or Brandon Card, one of those guys. So, uh, if anybody wants updates on that whole thing from John, you can go to Bass Junkies United. I'll put a link in our Facebook page today for that. And John, maybe we can figure something out, and and you can send updates too. So, like I said, there's going to be a lot of vlogs coming in here in the next couple weeks so check them out have fun with them if there's questions you want answered or asked to a certain angler by all means put them in send us a private message and i will make sure that uh you get it probably chef bob trying to get more tackle that if i should take you out i i've redone the whole 
layer of fishing tackle. I'm not joking. It's unbelievable now. I'm not, I'm not joking. I could do a vlog just on that. So be looking forward. If you're watching this and you'd like some free tackle, private message us on Facebook and say, hey, I saw Steve on here and I'd love some of those prize packs. You will get them. They're from TTI Blakemore, Mirror Lure, um, Monster 3X, um, just, I, I don't even know all of them, Mirror Lure, DOA Lures, all sorts of people. So, um, yeah, you can hope you, you can hope you can draw Larry. That would be great. But, it, you know, it's just out of the hat. If, did you, hopefully, John, you requested Larry and just kind of put your foot down and said, look, I have this. That's, that's kind of what you have to do now. If you want a certain person, you need to tell them ahead of time, here's who I'd like to go out with and this is why. Because then they will hopefully open it up to you and you can get it. So check, again, if you want prize packs, private message us on Facebook or email us, info at Fishing Florida Radio. Just say I watched the vlog with Steve about his update on all the stuff that's going on. You're going to see more videos, but just say I saw it. Please send me some prize packs. That's all you have to do. We will email you back or private message you back. Get your address and send them to the sponsors. Like I said, there's some great people that, that give us stuff. And we're really, we're really proud of those people. And it's not like a ton of stuff. Well, if you get all of them, it really is a ton of stuff. But it, it's it's a lot of great stuff. A lot of goodies. Culprit Riptide, Bass Assassin, uh, TTI Blakemore, um, DOA, Mirror Lure, there's there's Monster 3X, and I, I keep forgetting there's one. Oh, Z-Man Baits. That's another one. So those are some of the just some of the prize packs. So you do that, and uh, just give us a thumbs up, and and tell everybody you want to tell everybody about us, please. We're trying to trying to establish some new stuff on on YouTube, and there's a lot of content that's about to come out. So we're really excited. Make sure you check out Tackle Webs, like them. Um, do all that stuff, you know, like, comment, share, hit the notification button, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm.